Hey, so today we're going to take a look at Let's Defend. We'll pick an alert off the investigation channel, take a look at it, see what we can come up with. If you're not familiar with Let's Defend, it's an awesome blue team platform. I am not affiliated with them. They're not sponsoring this video. Maybe one day. <laughs> but it is a great platform. If you're looking to up your skills in incident response, being a SOC analyst, or like me, if you're a red teamer, and you just want to learn more about the analysis, the back end, how to make good recommendations on response and alerting to incidents or the attacks you might be carrying out as a pen test or a red teamer. It's overall a great platform. I've been on it for a couple weeks now and I am blown away with it. It is superb. So check it out, watch the video. Okay, so here we are inside of the Let's Defend console on the practice tab. Out of the main channel, I just went ahead and picked the very top alert for today um, and assigned it to myself. It's a high severity alert um, with the rule name SOC170 password found in request URL possible LFI attack. So we get the host name, web server 1006. We have our web server's IP address. We have the potential attacker's IP address. They used a GET request to request basically the file parameter off the root directory of our web server. And it looks like they're trying to get the Etsy password file. Um, we have their user agent, um, which may help us. And then the alert trigger reason URL contains uh, PASSWD. Um, so if you're not familiar, Etsy password, um, that's where user information is stored, like registered user information is stored in uh, Linux servers. So if you create a new user, um, different information will be stored inside there, like where their home directory is, if they have like a shell assigned to them, um, different things like that. The reason so what this attack is, LFI, local file inclusion. The reason that somebody might be trying to get Etsy password is because it's an easy known file. If you're conducting, so as a offensive security practitioner, I know that if I'm attacking a Linux system, there is an Etsy password file. Um, so it's a known known. Um, if you're attacking a Windows system, you might look for the WinINI file. There are no knowns you're, you know, almost a hundred times, you know, 10 out of 10 times, it's going to be there. If, if the um, attack can, can succeed, that's what you're going to look for. So those are things that we'll keep in mind as we're going through this um, investigation. So what I'm going to do is create a case. So the way Let's Defend works is we have an incident. We're going to go through the investigation. And if we start a playbook, then if we get the answer to the investigation correct, we will get bonus points for every correct answer we provide in the playbook as well. So um, when we end this investigation, we'll say whether it's a true positive or a false positive, and then we'll also get bonus points. If we get that right, we'll get bonus points for the playbook as well. Um, so it helps bring up your score. Um, let's go back into monitoring. So the first thing I want to find is let's look for the source IP address in our SIM. So log management is the SIM for let's defend. Nothing, we just search that way. Let's do source, cool, okay. So we can see firewall event um, at the same time that we had our alarm come through, there's our source address from the attacker. Here's the destination address, which is our web server. We already knew Etsy password. We already knew that, 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 that. Firewall did permit it. However, the response status was a 500, which means we had a server error. Um, there could be a number of reasons why that could happen. So let's take a look at the device itself. So let's get the name of it again. Web server 1006. Let's go to our endpoint security, which is their EDR. It's a Windows server. There's our answer. So in this case, the attack is 
is valid. Um, yes, an attacker was trying to probe for Etsy password via potential LFI. In this case, they were looking for Etsy password on a Windows server. Etsy password is not going to be found on a Windows server. So we know right there the attack did not succeed. Um, they were just probing. Again, the reason you would probe is because it's something easy to do on a mass scale uh, for something like an Etsy password. Now, if they had probed for the WinINI file, they may have found it. I don't know. Um, but let me show you what they would have find, found had they actually succeeded. So here, yep, yeah, we can see that good. Um, so here's damn vulnerable web application. That's what this is right here. Um, so page equals, so the page is the parameter and the value equals that um, dot dot slash Etsy password. And so if the attack had succeeded, they would have gotten a 200 status code for okay. Um, and this is what would have shown up if they were doing it in a browser whether they're doing curl request or however they're you know doing this, um, they would have gotten back the actual contents of the Etsy password file. So we know that the attack didn't succeed. I think this one's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, let's go to case management. We'll start answering the questions. Okay, understand why it was triggered. We know that. Collect data. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks, you know, examine the traffic, we did that. Is it malicious? Yes. What is the attack type, LFI? Is this a planned test? There's an email, okay. Let's check to see if there's an email. Server. And scanning. That's not it. Search here. Nothing saying web server is going to be checked. Let's try real quick. Let's just make sure that we don't have anything with this IP address in it. Nothing in there. Let's check that Intel and see if that, I mean, nothing pops on that IP there. Okay. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and say that it was safe or um, not planned. So it was internet to the company network. Somebody was trying to attack inwards into the network. Was the attack successful? No. Oh, let me make sure I answered that correctly. Okay, no. So value, this is attacker. It's really all we have out of this. Um, there's not much else that we get. To, there's no MD5, there's no email addresses, uh, there's no URL. No escalation. Um, LFI attack trying to retrieve. Yep, I can spell the password from Linux from a Windows server. Confirm. We're going to finish this out. Cool. Now we're going to go here, we're going to close the alert, we're going to close it as, this is one thing I'm not sure about with <laughs> Let's Defend. It is a true attack. We validated that it was unsuccessful. I don't know if they qualify that as false positive. We're about to find out. We'll just say see Kate's notes there. I'm going to say they are probably going to qualify this as a false positive. I could be totally wrong though. Close the alert. How'd we do? Okay, no, they did not say it was false positive. Cool, now I know. Um, so if you have an unsuccessful attack in Let's Defend, they still count it as a true positive if it was a real attack. 
now we know that. Um, but we did get all the bonus points. So cool. That was a really easy one. Hopefully you learned something. I learned something about Let's Defend and how they like their answers. Um, but yeah, overall, um, I plan to keep doing these and I think they're a lot of fun.